Yeah, now it sounds like a family project. Um, yes. What was it like making that kind of movie? Uh, it was lovely. It was beautiful. Um, a lot of people think it, yeah, it sounds a little crazy because like Carisha, my aunt's the lead, my uh, mother's uh, the second lead, my grandma's in it. She didn't know we were making a movie and we shot it at my mom's house. But to me, it was just a natural progression. Since I was a kid, I grabbed a camcorder and turned a family reunion into a movie. Um, and it was one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. Now, when you're making a movie like that, do you ever imagine it's going to end up at a big festival like this? Not at all. I, and all, all I was trying to do was tell, to make the movie honestly to our experience and try and um, make something truthful, hopefully. Um, just take it a step at a time. I never imagined we'd be here with the movie, so very uh, happy and humbled to be here. What, what kind of doors has it opened you making this movie and bringing it here as well? Uh, it opens a lot. I mean, the movie, th this has been a bizarre year of my life because it's changed a lot of things. Uh, like our American distributor in the States is now funding and releasing my next movie, and I'm focusing on that and doing all these festivals. Um, so it, op it opens doors like crazy, and it's, uh, I, I don't know, I didn't think it would open this many doors, so I'm just trying to like catch up and not screw anything up. <laughs> what sort of movie are you looking to do next? Is it something completely different or in a similar vein? I think when, um, when I, you know, it's going to be my version of a horror movie, so that does sound totally different, but it's not. Like, it's equally as personal. I wrote it right after my dad passed, and the idea is, uh, uh, I don't know, like, I think it's going to be really special because it's a movie I haven't seen before, and I'm approaching it the same way I approached Krisha, just on a larger level. Um, yeah, so I don't think it's that different. Now, Krisha told us, and hopefully this is accurate, that you are a big fan of the films here, and you've had a chance to see some of them. Well, what one stood out for you? Uh... Well, a personal favorite of mine is Green Room. Uh, I really love Green Room. I really love The Witch. Um, I really enjoyed High Rise. I like Ben Wheatley a lot as a filmmaker. Um, I think those are the first ones that come to mind. I also, like, I had a list of like 15 movies and I only got to see a couple. Um, and I did get to see a couple movies that are playing here earlier on, but I wish I wasn't so busy this week because I would have done nothing but seen movies. Excellent. And finally, one of the, can you just name one of the films that you haven't seen yet that you're really looking forward to catching? Ooh, um, one that I'm really looking forward to catching, probably Son of Saul. Uh, that movie, I don't know, I hear it's amazing and I really want to see it. Excellent. Well, hopefully you get a chance to catch it. Also, Peace and Nation, I really want to see that as well. But yeah. Great, yeah, absolutely. Both of those are really good. Okay, good. That's Thank good. You. Thank you very much, man. Great meeting you. Cheers, pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.